This video is the instruction for um, 3.1 Create Your Logo and also for the interactive rubric. Okay, so I'll be honest, I forgot to have my uh, mic on the first time we recorded this, so I'm just voicing over my original recording. This is going to be fun. Okay, so open your interactive logo, your copy of the rubric the interactive logo rubric. Um, now that you have opened that, you're probably going to want to zoom in so you can see it a little better. We're worried about the excellent column. So prepare to bold and highlight parts of the excellent column so you know what your logo is required to have for full credit. Okay, your logo. Okay, the two categories. Four symbols, accuracy, fill, and line color is the first category on the rubric. Um, in the excellent column, we have uh, includes at least four distinct symbols. We're going to make, we're going to highlight includes at least and bold distinct symbols. Oh, all right. One, the symbols, bold symbols are drawn accurately with polyline or curve line using the pop art method. So then you're gonna highlight drawn accurately with polyline or curve line. The symbols, bold symbols, are filled with colors that complement the overall logo. We're going to highlight are filled with colors complement the overall logo. The lines, bold the lines, and then are transparent or the line color is changed from default gray to colors that enhance the symbol and overall logo. Highlight are transparent or the line color is changed from default gray to colors that enhance the symbol and overall logo. Next category, background shape or symbol and logo composition. The excellent column. A shape or symbol is used as the background to the logo. So bold shape or symbol and um, highlight as a background. The background is centered or thoughtfully placed to create balance. And then we're going to bold background and highlight centered or thoughtfully placed. The background, and we're going to bold background. Color makes the symbols stand out. Oops, sorry, highlighting background color makes the symbols stand out is, sorry, bolding background color, highlighting makes the symbols stand out. All right, the symbols are placed to create balance. Bold symbols and then are placed to create balance is going to be highlighted. The symbols, symbols is going to be a bold, work together to enhance the composition of your fabulous logo. Highlight. And then the symbols, symbols in bold, are ordered onto layers that make sense. Right. So um, the next part of this is kind of how you're going to assemble your logo. So you're going to need your um, 3.2 slideshow and you're going to need the Google Drawing Canvas in 3.1 assembling your logo. Sorry, 3.1 create your logo is the assignment. So you're just going to copy paste all of your symbols from 3.2 over to 
on the canvas in sorry create a logo 2 over to the canvas in 3.1 and so uh, you've copy pasted them all over you got to make sure all of them are grouped so you aren't losing parts all over the place as you create your logo so all of mine are already grouped so it'll kind of oh that part's not on your canvas so here I am deftly deleting last year's assignment parts okay so uh, now all mine are already grouped so I'm just gonna ungroup one of them and then regroup it to remind you that you can right click and ungroup and group or you could go to the arrange menu to group and ungroup or control alt G if you're a keyboard shortcut type of person so all mine are grouped yes and then um, you know I've, I've had many variations um, I experimented with this for with my logo for quite a while um, and it's not yours is not going to be built this fast if you do it right and honestly in this demo I don't really do it right either because I'm kind of in a hurry to get through I mean the video is 10 minutes it's ridiculously long already so that's my background shape I'm gonna make it as big as I can on the canvas then I'm going to center it so I'm talking about the rubric in this part no I'm not I'm just centering so I'm going to arrange center on the page horizontally then vertically all right so in the rubric I said um, one of the categories is ordered to make that makes sense what I mean by makes sense is that you know that your symbols are on the right layers where they are interacting with each other correctly Looks like my monitor is coming off the desk there. I did something. You don't want to fix that if that were your logo. So I'm resizing. It's almost like I have two background shapes, a symbol and a shape, because I'm going to put everything on that desk so that the symbols interact together. You don't want to have the symbols just floating in space away from each other. You want them to work together an overlap in some way that makes sense. You want to have, make sure that it's a balanced composition. Um, like I, if I centered my desk in this, oh, I'm rotating my sun. If I centered my desk in this, it wouldn't be balanced. So I, I, I have to because the the desk and the screens of themselves are not balanced. Uh oh, looks like the sun is behind a hat. So I'm gonna. Control Alt up arrow, no, Control Shift up arrow to bring it to the front, which of course means that I'm going to have to do the same thing to my baby gorilla when I place it in the middle. So I'm going to drag that thing over there. The baby grill is like the least important part of my life. Oh no, I need to control shift up arrow to bring it to the front. There we go. Boom. The baby grill is just like not that important to my logo, so I don't mind having it all small. So these are the two. I didn't use the EDM dancing guy or the, the shape of Italy in my logo. Um, now that I look at it with that pink background, it, I don't know. I might have been able to use those, maybe put them behind the words collaboration, communication, and change the colors. But in the end, I decided not to just because I don't dance, so I shouldn't have a dancing guy on my logo, um, even if it means it's symbolic for my love of a certain kind of music genre. Um, okay, so now I'm just trying to make everything fit. Um, probably after I place the sun, the baby grill, and the hat on the desk, I should have grouped them so when I resize them, they'd all resize together and I wouldn't be having this problem that I'm trying to fix in the video. Okay, and then I think this is the part where I give up and just show you my final 
uh, yeah, I'm just going to show you what my final one ended up as. So the background color is different, but everything is placed properly, and you can see all the stuff. So that's kind of my finished product. Not kind of, it is. Although I changed it last year, and I'll probably change it again sometime, since I'm a much better drawer now than I was back then. I guess that's it. So, um, please, go assemble your logo.